five years old, what will, uh, what will happen to her in the future? Meantime, poor Kaylee, uh, nothing can be done to bring her back. No, as, as of now, which even if she were convicted, we ah, never would we really go. know what happened to Kaylee. Neither side was able to really bring that out in any definitive way at all. Um, and now, really, we'll never know. Because, to be honest with you, even if Casey Anthony decides she's going to write a book or she's going to go public, can really anyone believe anything she says based on the testimony we've heard? So many bizarre things happened in this trial. One of the, the most bizarre was her own mother uh, coming up with the story saying, no, 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 the, I was on the Internet looking up chloroform and chlorophyll, and it wasn't my daughter, and changing her story from the deposition. Exactly, and you know, the, the prosecution had a really strong comeback for that. They had proof, computerized proof, that she had been on her computer, someone using her password and her username had been on her computer uh -huh. at her job at the time. So that seems to she rich and sweet pretty much negate that testimony altogether. 5, Although they have said that there really is very little likelihood she's going to be charged with perjury or anything like that, it does seem to pretty much, you know, throw that whole argument right out the window. So, you know, one really wonders, I guess it all comes down to the jury noon. still felt, despite as strong as the prosecution may have been. Two and, and a half hours not of beyond constant the reasonable that. doubt, And that is the, the ultimate, you know, standard in, in criminal cases. And one of the jurors was, was a Catholic in the beginning. She was saying that uh, she had a problem with the death penalty and, and they still voted to have her, have her on the jury. She said she could be fair and impartial. Right, and there was another juror who said that she had a hard time judging, judging people, that she did not feel comfortable oh. judging people as a religious person. And no relaxation, no the, sleep, uh, none. At first tried to the day after 4th of July when everybody has gone to sleep, you know, one wonders what the influence of any this is what we're woken up with and treated with the whole day. Insight. This press conference, we were told, would happen relatively quickly after this, but the jurors don't have to talk to anybody. They don't have to participate in that press conference. But hopefully we will get some insight into what they were thinking. And um, m my guess is, as strong as it was, they probably felt it was wow just too circumstantial. There we go. Well, we're looking at a live picture of what seems to be sort of a party atmosphere, jubilation, at least, of course, from the defense attorneys. What kind of fire and alarm And, of course, Casey Anthony, as she was uh, just a few minutes ago acquitted of murdering her two-year-old daughter, Kaylee, three years ago. She is going through now a process of fingerprinting, uh, and you can see the tears uh, being wiped away from some of the attorneys and lead attorneys and on both sides. Uh, such a stressful, high-profile, uh, tense case. So much for that. Case. Nice